Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am wearing my university sweater because I actually just finished my second year of studying public relations at the Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen and in this video I basically want to talk about what it's like to study public relations, what it is, what we do, what future job prospects you have, what hopefully if you don't know yet what you want to study or you're thinking about studying public relations or anything in the communications field, then this video will help you to make a decision in order to choose a career that you're super, super passionate about. I truly believe that we can only reach our fullest potential if we love what we do. Tell me here in the poll if you would be interested in a video all around how to find your dream career and how to find a path, a job or a degree that you are super passionate about because I do know now it's a time where you are where you guys are graduating from high school where a lot of people don't know yet what they want to do and I'd love to help you. So without further ado, let's talk about all things public relations. So first of all, what is public relations? So public relations is really all about sustaining, creating and cultivating a brand image or, you know, a reputation. And you have uh, different fields of public relations. So you have political PR, you have non-profit PR, so the public, re public relations for charities. A huge field of public relations is also crisis management, it's also internal communications and it also has a lot to do with media relations and external communication of an organization. So anything publicity, so really, you know, attracting news coverage, so the media, the press, TV to an organization. So PR basically thinks about everyone who could influence a reputation of an organization or a business. So for example, media has influence over a business because you know when they say something bad about you, that influences your image and your credibility, your reputation. So PR thinks about all of those stakeholders. I highly recommend you to really clearly check out the course description of the course you want to study because I also think that PR courses are super, super diverse because PR is such a diverse field. So what do you do in public relations when you study that? So I will link my course as well as a few other courses in the description box so you can actually look at the module, you know, descriptions and what modules we have. We have a lot of, um, you know, writing and communications and media relations modules, campaign planning, digital media, events management, um, really, really diverse things and generally when you study public relations it's a lot um, project-based like we rarely have any exams learning by doing so I also think that you need to be really really self-motivated and really passionate about what you do because otherwise you won't really be good at it because you know in uni they do give you uh, homeworks and you know tasks and things but if you don't learn things yourself and if you don't you know go the extra mile I don't believe you can get excellent at um, public relations. So what can you do with a public relations degree? Public relations in today's market is getting more and more important for several reasons. Obviously first of all with the whole social media and really um such a rapid speed of communications, a real-time communication, right? Because everyone can just go live on Facebook and report live about a happening, for example. And if that's in um, connection with your organization, obviously you need real-time brand management, which is why, you know, public relations, especially connected to social media, is so, so, so important. Traditional advertising does not really work anymore right because like like I just want to ask you like do you believe in tv adverts probably not you'd rather believe in what your favorite influencer says or what your friends you know recommend you we don't believe a lot in sponsored messages anymore we believe in 
third party credibility. So, so we want someone else to give a certain product or service credibility. And that's exactly what PR is doing by, you know, moving a lot towards influencer marketing as well, social media marketing. I think in the future, a lot of PR positions will be based around um, being a social media manager. So um, creating the social media content for a business or an organization and interacting with customers and clients online. I also believe that uh, public relations is really going towards influencer marketing. So working together with influencer, finding the right influencer for your client and pitching them and having really good relations with them. With PR, you can either work internally within an organization and only do PR for that certain organization, or you can work in a PR consultancy which is external to their clients. So the PR consultancy has like different clients, so different organizations. You can also go into the public sector, so you can work for the government, you can work for political parties, for charities, for, I don't know, airports or theme parks. Literally everyone needs PR. Who is public relations for? So as I already said, I believe one of the, the biggest things is that you really need to be passionate about communication. You need to be interested in things. You need to be self-motivated. Obviously, you should be creative as well. Um, you should be good with management because with PR, it's also a lot about, you know, campaign planning, campaign management, social media management, crisis management. So you should be good with, you know, creating structured processes and also managing other people, stepping up as a leader, strong communication skills, writing. You should be a good writer. You should be great at speaking. You should be able to convince people to bring across your point. You will have to negotiate a lot with clients, with customers, with influencers. You need to be able to, you know, convince people. I also think that you should, you know, have a willingness uh, or passion to learn certain tools. Photoshop, um, Premiere Pro, uh, we also learned Final Cut Pro, we learned, as I said, how to code with um, Dreamweaver. Uh, you should also, you know, be willing to learn any social media management tools such as like Hootsuite, Buffer, and um, I'd also like say gra basic graphic design, so thinking about learning Illustrator. There's this common conception that, you know, studying communications, like it's something you can do if you don't know what uh, what else to do and it's, you know, something easy and you don't need a lot of skill for it. Of course, you don't need like really good grades. You don't need to be the best in, you know, mathematics or I don't even know what. I don't think you should go into a communications degree and be like, oh, that's so easy. Like, I will just like, you know, do my homework and then just party the rest and not put in any extra effort. Sure, you, you will probably get your degree and you will get through uni, but what's then later in the workplace? You have this gift and you should use it to your fullest potential and you should always be driven and hard working and trying to perfect the skills you have. I have to say I maybe would not recommend my specific course that I'm doing at my uni because it's not as intense. We don't have a lot of classes. I really, really wish we had more classes, but generally the communications PR field is so great. And question for you, what are you currently studying at uni or what do you want to study? I'm so, so curious to hear. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. Yeah, so um, thanks so, so much for watching this video guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!